Air Force Aggressor Program started back in 1972. It was spearheaded by a small, dedicated team who were determined to teach squadrons how to deal with enemy threats. The aggressors have been at the heart of enhancing high-end US Air Force and Allied warfighting ever since. 50 years on, the US Air Force is dominated by fifth-gen fighters and threat nations are accelerating capabilities like never before. The US Air Force Aggressor Program is reacting, growing and improving to ensure it continues to challenge competence, equipment and tactics across the full spectrum of modern warfare and proving its relevance now more than ever before. I would say we are more valid now than ever. Um, with the you know, Secretary of the Air Force and Secretary of Defense saying their focuses are China, China, China. Um, that's what we're here for. We are here to embody and replicate our enemies to the best of our ability. The need for aggressors has gone absolutely through the roof. Uh, so we are here to provide the absolute top notch uh, replication uh, for our blue forces uh, to make them the best that they can be you know, should, should we have to go to war. The aggressors were started back in 1972. Right during the Vietnam War era, we would had a great air-to-air -air kill ratio uh, up until Vietnam, and that ratio kind of nosedived during that conflict. At that point, uh, the Air Force decided to kind of step away from a risk-averse uh, to a more risk-forward uh, type of training environment, and that's where the aggressors came in. Initially training uh, with mostly uh, T-38s and then bringing in the F-5s, uh, and then some of our early block F-16s. It's been a gradual progress to get uh, up to where we are today. What it's doing is it's providing better training uh, for Blue Forces. With our F-16 fleet, you know, doing our best to upgrade them uh, to the maximum extent possible, and then bringing on the 65th aggressors with the F-35s now, uh, replicating a fifth gen threat, uh, since we aren't able to do that with our fourth gen F-16s. It's really an integration piece uh, with the F-35s, so, Again, replicating what our enemies are doing, kind of a layered effect of both uh, a fifth gen platform uh, and a fourth gen platform, because there's things that the F-35 can do that we can't in the F-16 uh, that enables um, a more robust threat and a, diff a more difficult problem set for uh, the Blue Forces to face. So the reason the aggressors are here at Nellis because the saying goes, as goes Nellis, goes the Air Force. Uh, we're the home of the fighter pilot. We have the Air Warfare Center here, uh, which is focused on tactical doctrine. Uh, we've got test and evaluation. We've got the Air Force Weapons School. It's a home of Red Flag. No better place for the aggressors to be.